This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Monday, June 17, 2024. If you listen to where we are uh, over the weekend, you know some things are changing. Uh, Now, one thing that's not changing is The Morning Five. You can still listen to the morning five uh, here Mondays through Thursdays. Uh, We are stopping the long form weekend episode. Uh, If you want to continue to be in touch uh, with Melissa and I, uh, you can go to whereweare.substack.com, sign up as a subscriber. Uh, We'll uh, likely do some sporadic podcast episodes, say one a month. Uh, Over there, you'll also receive uh, uh, regular communication from us, including our political brief, top five, and faith in the news, Uh, but wanted to make sure you saw that announcement. Also want to make sure that you saw the Center for Christianity and Public Life has launched a new podcast, For the Good of the Public, and you could learn more about that podcast and subscribe for that podcast at CC Public Life. Org. All right, this, uh, this morning, I thought uh, instead of covering news uh, uh, headlines, as we sometimes do here at the Morning Five, I wanted to read something. And uh, I'm going to read a poem uh, from Gerard Manley Hopkins, God's Grandeur. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod. And all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil. And wears man smudge and shares man smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O morning at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with, ah, bright wings. Let's close the morning five today with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad. Because you are the one in charge and you have all the power. And the glory too is all yours forever. Which is just the way we want it. Thank you for joining me today. The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network. Supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Have a great start to your week.